here we are at home on the balcony and uh, this is also Amsterdam there's more than only downtown many trees more trees than people here so I think it's a good uh, idea to show more of the surroundings let's see it's nice weather there's the place that we live yeah. here you go to the park so we go I have the bike with me so we can see a bit around Here we are, it's a very nice place, close home. It's first day of autumn, but still the trees, they are uh, nice green. I, I hope it goes like this because on the bike the camera is a bit shaking. It's okay. Just a short look here. last part of the park here so you can see the lake completely with the uh, ducks and all these swimming animals and here the other side now you can see no houses anymore This is a part where you have the begging goose and ducks. Very stupid. They think I have bread, but of course not. Here we came from, and now we are in a very old piece of the town. In fact, this place here is older than downtown. It's a very nice old village, still Amsterdam. There in the distance is the east part of the city with the water, the A, the boat. Funny. This is the last part of this area, and here begins the water to the IJsselmeer lake. And as well, the place where my boat is laying. So just have a short look. Everything is okay. Nice weather. Well there little one with the brown sail it's 
a bit windy, not so warm. Oh, but there are the sluizen, which makes the level from the water from one side to the other equal, so the boat can continue. These are nice houses as well. Good area. Just a short look. There's the little one. Everything seems okay. Ready to go nearly. But still to cover it because maybe rain comes tomorrow. The little harbor. Not so many ships here. I think about 40. Well, we followed the road and we're standing now on the dike. And uh, there is the bridge going to the east. Before it was the only connection to the east. Now they have also a tunnel. And they built there a new part of the city. And the water. People living sometimes in the boats here. They have really comfortable houses. And there's the road, big round route. And we continue to the fields. Well, this is the beginning of uh, Waterland. It's a large area. There are no cows in this moment. Normally they are all over the place. And this is the next village on our way. So let's go. This is what you see when you are on the dike. The same old houses. It was in the early days a fisher place for fishermen. And there the beginning of the lake. It's quiet, no man, not so many boats. Still the weather nice. It's about uh, the end of the village and here you have the harbor, harbor from the place. There the water again. Not small, and many ships here. Here we are on the dike, and now no houses anymore until the next village. There's the, the land, and the swans, some lakes. And by, behind all of this, there's the, the big lake. Let me come in a minute. All this dike goes over about 100 kilometers. There's a few places where there are villages. All dike. Part needs to, to be renewed, so it's nice because then it changes along the look. You can see there the plate, nature, 
area of Atalong. Here's a, a place for birds in the distance. It's a place uh, protected. We cannot go there. It's like an island. And actually this is the beginning of the big lake. Continue to the left all the way. Here's a camping place. So welcome. We have also lakes inside the countryside. That is uh, from old uh, disasters. What is left here after the dike damages from old times. Because this lake can be terrible when the wind is strong. So here's the beginning, now you can see. No land on the horizon. And here you can have, there's the camping again. You can have a nice uh, quiet sailing here without uh, mo monster waves. And here's the bird island. No birds now because it's only in spring. They put there the eggs. This on the underside of the dike here. Just have a look. It's nice. The waves and the rocks. And there, if you can see the, the seagulls standing there on these wooden sticks. These wooden sticks, they hold a net for the fish in the water. And they're all sitting there. Enough of the lake now. Now we go inside the country and to see the next village, which is called Holy Sloat. Funny name. Here you can see. Let's see how it is there. It's a very nice place. Uh, by lake. Wind is a bit less here, of course. More protected. And there are the ladies. Black and white ladies. Very peaceful together. People, for people who are not so familiar with this country and this place, you can see different levels here. <laughs> this was in the early days also a lake. But when you climb up here, you go higher. And this is more close, of course. Another uh, canal. But that is higher than this place here. So you can see this was in early days a lake. This is the place called Holy Sloat. Show a bit around. 
here maybe you can see here the map here statue here you are so you can see a bit around yeah, this is the complete area there now let's continue it is a very tiny place with uh, little houses only a little bus going here there's a little restaurant or bar people talking you can see there's the bus a church I think maybe 30 people can go in here so tiny the bus station now we're walking here and the fields graveyard So we continue this trip in Holy Sloat. Inside the land you have also uh, lakes because it's called waterland eh? don't forget so let's see The winter is a good place to skate here. Well, on the way back, of course, this little trip. And uh, this is a very nice house. Look at it. Nice. All the flowers. The land and the cows there in the distance is holy slot we just left there's a little church there and we continue here this is the bike path everywhere bike this is the last part eh? we on the way back close home in this moment we are 10 minutes from home 15 maybe the road is a bit broken here It is called Randstorp. It's the first village you uh, enter coming from home. Also an old uh, an old waterland village. It's very nice as well. So we continue the last part. 
there you see in the distance the town again. Uh, here, the last part of this uh, Ransdorp village with the tower. Beautiful garden. And this road we continue. And there's the, the circle route again behind this uh, road. This is the area where we live. And these are the summer houses, summer garden houses. There are a lot of them here. You're not allowed to be here in winter time. Everything is closed, and, but now it's nice. It's warm even.